What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I haven't done a story time in a while, so we're gonna do story time! And this is the story of actually a couple things. It's the story of how I kind of became a Tumblr meme, and more so, it's the story of my first rave. Now, this wasn't a real rave. It was actually an all-ages nightclub hosted by some event thing up in a city I wasn't living in. And the funniest thing is it got shut down because it had pictures of sexualized minors, which sounds alarming, but you need to remember they had an in-house photographer and a lot of the girls would go in dressed basically wearing their underwear. Like you were, th I think a dress code could have solved a lot of these problems, but I imagine angry parents were like, I can't believe my kid is doing this. This is horrible. And they got shut down. But uh, not before some really hilarious pictures came out of there. Now, I wanna tell you about my, my experience at the rave. And what's funny is since this was an all ages nightclub, they didn't sell alcohol. They sold energy drinks and soda pop and stuff. And so I would like, you know, monster after monster after monster and like, oh boy, it's a miracle I'm not dead. However, I, at one point during one of these nights, I like, I am so dehydrated. I drank so many monsters and I'm like, holy crap, am I thirsty? I want something that's not an energy drink. They had a water fountain there. And I, I drank from that water fountain and it changed my life. Because before that point, I used to drink energy drinks, soda pop and that kind of thing. But once my lips graced that water, there was a lot going through my mind and I nearly passed out from the bliss of the water because I, at that point, I fell in love with water. And from then on, I don't think I have been the same mentality to water. I will drink glass after glass of water and never think about getting a soda pop unless I'm specifically very much so wanting soda pop instead of a so water, I get water. It's, it, you know, I, I, every restaurant, it's not just because I'm cheap. I get water just because I like it. So yeah, changed my life. Highly recommend drinking water. Um, it is the best. Now, moving on, I had, now this was my first rave. Now, obviously it was legal to an extent, and I was pretty much sober, aside from, you know, tons of energy drinks. But the rave culture was still there. And this is where I was introduced to candy and the concept of plur, or peace, love, unity, and respect. Now, there is a little handshake that people in the community do, where you do like, it's like peace, and then you do like the heart thing is love. And then you like, I think it's a handshake and a respect thing. I can't remember the last two, but you do all four letters and then you end with your hands kind of crossed like this. And then you bring a piece of candy, not like candy, but candy. And it is a little like bracelet type thing. And you cross it from your arm to their arm and there you go. And if you have candy of your own, oftentimes you'll take one of your own and swap it as well. And that's trading candy. And that is a big part of the culture there. Now this guy who I, I found, he was, he was covered in candy and covered in Sonic merch. He had like a Sonic spirit hoodie. He had like a big Sonic uh, perler necklace. And he had like all sorts of just, just Sonic. This guy was dripping in Sonic. And so I'm like talking to him. It's like, oh man, I love your Sonic outfit. That's like super cool. I love uh, like the whole theme you got going on there. He's like, yeah, man, thanks so much. And he's like, he does this all the time. And he's like, he, he was super into it. And he noticed I had no candy and I was complimenting him on it. And so he taught me 
the Plur handshake, and then he gave me his biggest piece of candy. It was like this 3D bracelet thing. Like the thing was chunky and it had the word Sonic written out in it. It was one of the coolest things I ever got from just someone. And these things are handmade. So this guy made it and then just gave it to me. Now, sadly it's gone. I have no idea what happened to it, but it was the first candy I ever got and it was such a magical experience. And I think that really cemented me into the community of, of rave culture because it was just this, it, it was so free. People just, just, just did that because they liked it. And it was one of the coolest things ever. Now, remember when I said there was a photographer there? Well, I managed to get a photo taken of me and it managed to end up, it, it managed to end up on a cringe photos from all ages nightclubs, you know, where kids are doing weird things and funny dances and all that fun stuff. And I was with a couple friends and one of them was wearing a Homestuck shirt. Now this was about 10 years ago. God, I'm old. But this is about 10 years ago when Homestuck was a big deal. And so this, my friend who was dressed up in Homestuck got got found out by someone on Tumblr. Here's the photo. That's Trenton all the way on the left. He's dressed up as John Egbert, the main, main character of Homestuck. And then there's a friend of mine from high school. And then there's me on the, all the way on the right. And we're all just doing the whitest dances that would even put Mayo to shame, which is perfect because it's what John Egbert would definitely do. So it just made the image way more better. Like it just, it just made its rounds. I think it's still getting reblogged and retweeted or whatever the heck, it's still making its rounds as of last month. So it's sitting at like a healthy 15,000 notes and yeah, so it made its rounds. It like, we, I didn't even have anything to say about it. Nobody knew it was me in the photo. No one knew who I was. No one knew who Trenton was. No one knew who anyone was. They're just like, oh my God, that's Homestuck. Ha ha ha, that's amazing. And so, yeah, best photo ever. Um, you also get to see like a little face reveal of me as a high schooler. It's probably one of the few I have left since I deleted Facebook. And yeah, love the photo, love the whole experience. Honestly, um, if you can get into like an all ages nightclub, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but if you're interested, give it a try. It's a fun experience and it got me obsessed with live music. So yeah. Uh, I want to give you some general life updates. Um, most importantly, since nobody asked, uh, my con schedule. I'm going to conventions this year. Finally, this will be my first time actually getting to wear my fursuit at a furry convention. Uh, so my conventions are BLFC and MFF for sure. And then I'm possibly going to see if I can get myself into Anthro Northwest as well. And now I am also going to festivals. Uh, the first one I'm going to is gonna be Foam Wonderland in Eugene. And I'm also going to Base Canyon in Washington. And I'm also going to Beyond Wonderland, also in Washington. And uh, these are gonna be some places I will be at. So if you ever wanna see me, Come by. I'd love to meet any and all of you if I can. Um, give me a hug. I'm very happy to do those. And yeah, I'll probably be setting up in some corner trying to do some weird music collab with random furries. So yeah, uh, I'm very excited. Uh, big plans for this year. Can't wait to show. Can't wait to see y'all. And I can't wait to show you guys the vlogs that inevitably come out. Uh, but that's about it. That's the video. Um, my my introduction to raves uh but yeah i hope you enjoyed it um more stories coming soon and until next time thanks so much for watching bye bye